Uh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah. There we go. Woo! Uh, I squeezed like 20 grapefruit to fill up this bottle. There's still some seeds flooding on top. Man, squeezing those 20 grapefruit was kind of hard. My, my thighs are still soggy. Now, <laughs> uh, I did squeeze this myself, by the way. You don't think you could buy grapefruit juice where, like, seeds are floating on the top? <clears throat> Note to self, don't drink grapefruit juice before making a video because it makes your mouth pucker. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, here's the note. People talk about sink speed. Uh, well, they don't seem to realize if 80% uh, or more of uh, your strobe or speed light illumination uh, is uh, that of the picture. I guess the easiest way to say this is in your composition that you shoot, if the lighting is 80% or higher from strobe or speed light, then that does become your effective shutter speed. Uh, like some of the people that are that bitching about the uh, GFX uh, Fujifilm having a high speed, I mean having a sync speed of a 1, uh, 100 and one and one and a quarter, one one twenty fifth of a second. Don't drink grapefruit juice before making a video. It's not an issue. Talk about studio work, which is what the GFX is for. I'm actually laughing at all these people that are using the GFX for street photography. Fujifilm even paid some guy who's a Fujifilm shooter. They're like, here's a GFX. He took it to a war zone. <laughs> now the GFX does not have very fast autofocus. Okay, it's a medium format camera, which is made for corporate, commercial. Uh, product photography, you know, like taking pictures of jets and, you know, high-end model. You no, know, it's not made for, <laughs> made for a war. It's like, it's like Ansel Adams taking his 4x5 into a war zone. It's like, hold on a second, let me adjust his bellows. But uh, just remember that uh, your speed light flash duration becomes your actual shutter speed when 80% or, that doesn't mean you actually can't have blur, obviously but it becomes your effective shutter speed. Because the pulse typically, like say one quarter power, one uh, twelve thousandth of a second typically on T1 time, that means, you know, even if you've got your uh, shutter speed set on your camera for 60th of a second, that means that 80%, uh, whatever the percentage of your flash to ambient ratio is, becomes that one twelve thousandth of a second, even if your shutter speed is at one sixtieth of a second, for example. Um, why people don't seem to realize that. Uh, yeah, it's called flash duration override. Actually, that's what I call it. That's what I used to call it back in the day. Uh, I think I've heard it called a couple times. Flash duration override. It means it overrides your actual shutter speed on your camera because the flash or strobe pulses, boom, even if your shutter speed is like wham. Because most, if not all, of the illumination is coming from the speed light, and the speed light pulse is that fast, even if your shutter speed is that fast. Does that register? Is that very simple? Did I explain it? Explained it very clearly. <laughs> it took like 20, 20 large grapefruits to get that much juice. Of course, I would sip on it now and again, so maybe it was a little bit more than that. Wow, fresh grapefruit juice is really yummy. I oh, was just in a pomegranate bottle right now, actually. I love reusing bottles. Yeah, so there you go. That's the information on uh, flash duration override. I hope that was really simple and abundantly lucid. Mm, it should have been. Yep, I think it was. Okay, bye. <laughs>